All right. Thank you, Sir Angelo, for the assistance. Mga ka-CPD, hello. Good evening po sa ating lahat and good morning, good afternoon sa mga viewers din natin na nanonood. Baka meron tayong nanonood outside the Philippines sa lahat ng mga teachers and educators there. Shout out sa atin. This is another new topic for us. And this is 21st century skills and ICT instruction and assessment. All right, so let me share my screen for a while. All right, so now it's already shared on your screens also and makikita po ito sa ating Facebook Live. Okay, so again, let me introduce our topic for tonight. 21st Century Skills and ICT Integration, Instructions, and Assessment. So, before anything else, bakit nga ba ito yung topic natin tonight, no? Very timely, tama yung sinabi dyan ni Sir Angelo. Another, it has a big role to us as 21st century educators. When we say 21st century skills, we're not only talking for the learners, no? Na dapat ito yung matutunan nila. Hindi po. We should also teachers are um, equipped with ICT skills and knows how to integrate. Okay, so let's continue. Now, let me present to all of you the top five apps to make a virtual lesson interactive. Makakatulong po ito sa ating classroom observation or demonstration, or even in our daily teaching basis. Okay, first is the Wood Club. Ayan mga ka-CPD. Wood Club, ito po ay isa sa mga magagandang ICT integration material, which is, it, it is very useful during live audience agreement. Eh, or, ito, um, live audience engagement tool wherein the learners or the students are allowed to answer engaging and interactive questions in real time during the subject or during the discussion. Again, needed po ito ng internet connectivity. But the best is if you want to see the interaction between you and your learners, Wood Club is one of the best ICT integration material not only for recitation or interaction but also during the assessment period. Also, Wood Club is integrated with Brightspace. So later, papakita ko po mga ka-CPD kung ano ba ang Wood Club, no? Which allows you to create Wood Club events directly into your Brightspace course content. Also, the Wood Club import Brightspace questionnaire. So, may mga ready-made questions sa po dito na pwede natin gamitin during the interactive session natin with our learners. Wherein, we can download it and integrate it or vice versa in our Wood Club or Brightspace. And to synchronize the students' results from Wood Club to Brightspace. Wood Club is an interactive platform, mga ka-CPD, that transforms their mobile phones. So, meron po itong app. They can download it as an APK format in their phones, in iPhone, or even in, the, in a Google or Android phones. And also, it is developed for collaboration for different courses, wherein maximizing the information retention and enhance learning during lectures or even in a classroom or remotely. So malaking tulong po ito. Later, pakita ko po sa inyo ang Wood Club kung paano gamitin. Another, I know everyone is gumagamit ng online stopwatch. Lahat na yata ngayon ay gumagamit ng online stopwatch. No? But some of us, some of us teachers, we are just downloading the video from YouTube website. Then some of us are encoding it or gumagamit na naman codes 
do uh, in a PowerPoint presentation or even in our um yung ating mga Google Apps. But online stopwatch is just a platform wherein you don't need to download the video. Ang online stopwatch po, mga ka-CPD, is a flash-based timer for your browser. It is made by the HTML5 for a more modern audience. It's an online stopwatch con continues to offer different timers for users. So pwede po dyan ng 1 minute, 2 minutes, 5 minutes, or we can personalize kung ano man ang gusto natin. Also, you can also use for online stopwatch service to create your own timer with themes and templates to customize it to suit your requirements based on the need of your classroom. Later, ipapakita ko rin po ang platform ng online stopwatch. Then, let's proceed with another tool. <clears throat> okay. Mga ka -CPD, we have the no hands. No hands, sometimes kapag tayo ay nagkakaroon ng synchronous classes sa ating mga learners, it's so hard for them to call their attention. Now, ang hirap pong tawagin tapos wala rin pong masasagot. No? Using the, the no hands up, no hands can randomly help us, especially in choosing our learners. It's just a small window wherein you can select your pupils or learners to answer different questions. Students can feel more comfortable in answering teachers' questions. And all students are more attentive as anyone in the class. Also, in practice, students love this quick and fair way of student selection. So again, no, um, pwede mong paulit-ulit sila mapili or pwede mo ring once lang sila mapili. And teachers can never be accused for favoritism. Ayan. So, kasi di ba pag may mga classroom observation tayo, dapat meron tayong paraan ng pagtawag sa ating mga learners or students or pupils. And with this, no hands, we can use it fairly and hindi tayo ma-accuse ng favoritism. Okay? So let's proceed with another app, which is, ito yung isa sa mga favorite ko po, no? yung quizzes. Ayan. So kung may mga teachers tayong dito na gumagamit ng quizzes, ang ganda po ng quizzes. Kasi quizzes was established no? way back 2013 pa ata. But in the Philippines, na-maximize ang paggamit natin yan, especially during the pandemic. Quizzes is a gamification of quiz-based learning. Pwede ka po dyan mag-create ng iyong presentation na. And also, you can create an interactive quizzes out of quizzes. A simple but yet powerful experience for teachers and students. Quizzes might be just like a, a Quizlet and Kahoot, but what's best for quizzes is it's very easy to use, both for teachers and learners, and in a style that's really engaging. All that makes this as a powerful platform for learning, both in the classroom, as well as for remote education. This is clear that the quizzes is widely used because in the U.S., it was established that time, way back 2013, and as of now, there are 150 countries in total who are using quizzes. Visually engaging po siya, mga ka -CPD, no? In a minimalist way, and it's very simple to use by anyone and works across a host of devices, making it widely accessible. So what is quizzes? Again, it's just, a, it's just like a game show that means a question and answer platform that works across web browsers, but pwede rin pong gamitin sa Android phones or even in the iPhone. From a student's perspective, this makes learning more fun with game-based interactions and an ability to work through a quiz using their own devices. For teachers, 
as a host, we can have some pre-built quizzes. Tama po, no? Ang quizzes po ay may database na po siya ng mga ready-made questions. You can edit it, you can copy it, or you, even you can create your own um, set of questions. Later, ipapakita ko kung paano gamitin ang quizzes, kung paano siya, uh, paano tayo kumuha ng iba't ibang questions, no? na pwede nating gamitin talaga. Okay? Next, let's proceed with another item, which is yung gamit na gamit na, pero I know you're very familiar, but very useful. PowerPoint game, ayan. PowerPoint, it's been decades wherein PowerPoint has a big role, especially for all teachers, for all, for all learners. At first, Ang ginagawa talaga ng mga learners natin is just presenting it, reporting, no? But we have some innovations na na-create out of PowerPoint. That is what we call the PowerPoint gamification. There are several benefits in using PowerPoint games in the classroom. We can provide an opportunity to model an activity or a game, especially for large classes. It can be fun to play. They are easy to create or edit. And they don't require an internet connection. Tama, di ba po? Kung kayo po ay gumagamit ng mga, mga gamified na PowerPoint presentations, you don't need internet connectivity. You just need to fix the hyperlinks of your presentations. It's great for station rotations and partners. It works as well. Then... What's best for PowerPoint is it can be used for any devices. So wala po siyang pinipiling um, platforms or devices na pwede natin gamitin mga ka-CPD. It provides an opportunity to model an activity or a game, especially for large classes. Okay, so I know familiar kayo kay PowerPoint. So pagtuunan naman natin yung iba pang pwedeng tools na pwede natin gamitin for ICT integration. We have the set 2, which is the top tech tools for teachers. So, ano ba itong mga top tech tools na ito, no? Na pwede natin gamitin. Some can be mentioned or ginagamit nyo na, but some may not. So, allow me to share, no? Kapag nababanggit ko po, it only means that you are already ICT teacher na talagang marunong mag-integrate ng technology. Kung hindi nyo pa nagagamit, Let's try to explore. Okay, first, Nearpod. Ayan, the Nearpod. Nearpod offers the rich hybrid learning by making it easy to combine media and also provides an assessment tools. Nearpod is an online tool that allows teachers to use different slide teaching both in the classroom and remotely to a hybrid form or layout. Teachers can create lots of different interactive learning resources that allow the learners to engage and learn via their devices or a single screen in the room. It is also possible to add some question points along the way and have the students take part as they go. Nearpod is also used as a formative assessment tool. So, May mga set of quizzes dito na embedded na kay Nearpod na pwede mong gamitin at mag -e enjoy talaga ang ating mga ka-learners, mga ka-CPD. No? And can, out, can make an output student's effort in an easy to analyze graphs and charts, and charts for a clear snapshot of their progress. So, ang maganda po dito, Nearpod is also a website, no? an app-based digital tool that lets teachers create slide-based learning resources that are interactive for students to engage with and learn from. Nearpod can also use gamified or gamification of information that makes the learning so fun and engaging. It is also built to work with lots of pre-existing tools such as you can add Google Slides, Microsoft PowerPoint, and YouTube. Teachers can easily import media 
yung po, drag and drop lang din po siya, mga ka-CPD. And to make the lesson quickly and simply using already existing resources. So Nearpad also can create lessons from scratch or you can use it, you can use the existing library ng Nearpad wherein there are, ito po magandang news dito, no, mga ka-CPD. There are 15,000 lessons which are videos and it's running quickly. Just use it, search for it, then adapt it. The system also allows we, as teachers, to pull the videos from the likes of YouTube for easy integration with our quiz. Then, Nearpad works in a number of ways to support a teacher-led classroom. Also, student-led student remote learning. Wherein, pwede po natin siyang gamitin during our Google Meet or even in Zoom o kung ano man gagamitin natin na conference platform or conference app. So, paano gamitin ng Nearpad? Mamaya, papakita ko po yan mga ka-CPD, no? Nearpad allows the teachers to create original interactive presentations with extensive standards aligned with K-12. Yun po yung kinagandahan niyan. So, also, pwede ka rin mag-create ng yung 3D models. Like, for example, ang topic mo po ay molecules or the atom. So, pwede, pwede po natin yan gamitin sa Nearpod. Yun po yung mga ganda talaga, which is which makes the lesson interactive at realistic din kahit pa paano sa ating mga learners. And you can also add images, colors, themes, and more, and then save that, and malalagay mo siya doon sa sarili mong library. So what is best for Nearpod? The best feature for Nearpod is it's great for making YouTube videos interactive. Simply select the one that you want, and then you can add the assessment questions at certain points along the way. So, pwede mong i-post yung video, tapos maglagay ka doon ng questions mo. Pwede po yun. So, yun yung kinagandahan kay Nearpad. So, therefore, the students need to do is just watch and select the correct answers as they watch. Therefore, they need to ensure that they pay attention and allow them to see how much they know or areas that they need attention. So, Ang ganda po ng Nearpad, ako po ginagamit ko na rin po siya, pero ang dami kasing tools. So later, ipapakita ko yung mga ginagamit ko para possible, ma-adapt nyo rin po mga kasipili, no? Pwede tayo magtulungan. Okay, then another, uh, what's best for Nearpad is the collaboration. Meron po siyang board, yung collaboration board na tinatawag natin. It allows the students or the learners to contribute multiple perspectives that can be useful both in the classroom and even in a remote way. In a student-led mode, they can go at their own pace while the teacher pace mode, you can take time to pause and reflect or expand on points made. You can also perform it live. So, ang dami po niyang use. Then also, you can add some poll questions here. So later, pakita ko po kung paano gamitin din si Nearpad. Then, what we have here is the whiteboard chat. If you want for some collaborations ng sabay-sabay, no? Um, if you want some collaborations ng sabay-sabay, choose whiteboard chat. What's best for, for whiteboard chat? So the whiteboard chat, lahat ng learners mo, during synchronous classes, I may board. You want to see your your students what they are doing, so pwede mo rin po yan gamitin. You want to see at the same time all of your learners, use whiteboard chat. You want to write music, manipulate shapes, or even play a game of chess in a virtual setting, choose whiteboard chat. The whiteboard chat is a free digital whiteboard that allows you to create, share, collaborate, and monitor your students. Students on their part can demonstrate their understanding and share their constructions through many different creative mediums. 
So medyo hinihingi lang siya ng konting technical requirements, no? So when we say technical requirements, mga ka-CTD, yung device. Whiteboard chat can be accessed on any web browser. Yung po yung kinagandahan nun. And if you want to save it, your, your whiteboard chat, you can create an account using your, ito po yung pinaka, pinakamaganda dyan. You can create your own whiteboard chat using Google, Facebook, email address. This app allows the insertion of polls also. Backgrounds, shapes, text, drawings, math symbols. Ayan o, oh, para sa mga math teachers, I know yung struggle natin sa pag-create ng math symbols, especially sa panagtuturo tayo ng math. Ang hirap, ang hirap magturo ng marimanik sa learners ng hindi natin ma-explain through a symbol. So, kailangan natin talaga mag-download ng picture, mag-insert pa. But, here in Whiteboard Chat, ando na. Just click the sign that you want based on the lessons na, din, na pinapakita mo. Also, if you want some music classes, there are some musical notations in Whiteboard Chat. And several several widgets were in embedded na rin po yung mga timer. So, pwede ka mag-set ng, mag ng may timer or wala. And of course, to capture the student work, you can save their work or they can save their work any boards as PDF or consider taking and saving a quick screenshot if you want. Pero best po dyan is the PDF form kasi makikita po talaga natin. So, ang ganda rin po ng whiteboard chat sa so mga kasi-PD, no? Uh, later, papakita ko rin ko kung paano po siya ma-discover po and magamit po natin. Okay? So, let's go with another common material pero ang laking tulong sa atin. This is what we call Canva. Ayan. Canva Education. So, kung kayo po yung gumagamit ng Canva, pwede i-comment yan sa ating Facebook live comments, no? Sabi nga, during pandemic, Canva was overused. Yes, that's true. But, what's best for Canva? Canva for education. We, kung kayo po ay nasa Department of Education, nasa field kayo ng, ng, ng public school, what's best for that account, yung www.deped.gov.ph accounts, is you, you, you can have a pro feature of Canva. So lahat po, no? Lahat ng templates, Lahat ng kanyang font size, font, uh, sorry, font styles magagamit mo doon. You don't need to download it ng, ng may limit, no? What's best for Canva for Education? There are 3,000 fonts. See? Ang dami. And counting pa yan. 75 millions of stock photos and videos and graphics. 420,000 templates. And even a virtual classroom, pwede ka na rin dyan mag-record if you want. Canva is great for all. People with skill design, those who like skill designs and have no idea how to create them, if you want a basic version po ng Photoshop, use Canva. Whether you like to create by using pre-made templates, Canva will give it to us. Or you you are pre preferred mo po to create from scratch, then use Canva for education. What's best for Canva is Canva is also offering a training. Ayan po, me as a Canva lover din po ko, I'm attending some Canva for education seminars wherein there are some different countries na nag offer po ng trainings niyan. Ang ganda po kasi Yung hindi natin alam, nabibigyan talaga natin ng iba't ibang level level up yung ating training for Canva. So, Canva for Education works seamlessly with Microsoft Education tools like Teams, OneNote, and Microsoft Word, of course. For our students, we can also ask them to use the Canva for their class projects. Consider having students use the posters and presentations, the different templates to create their own attractive original art and to enhance their in-class presentations 
for our own purposes, we can ask them to use different design tools to bring the extra verb and uh, diff within their within their subjects, documents, class websites, or even in social media presence. What's best for Canva talaga is yung kanyang templates po mga ka -CPD. And there are, like what I've told you, yung Canva po nag-offer po siya ng trainings, no? You can check the website of Canvas Design School. Ayan po, no? Uh, bibigay ko po yan. Canvas Design School. You can write that. Canva, search mo lang po yan. Canva Design School. Then, it's a website. Ang dami po na mo, mo po doon makikita na iba't ibang trainings for, for you to be inspired in using Canva. And of course, this tool has a great templates built in for social media posts. Like, for example, if you want for it for your IG or Instagram stories, pwede ka mag-search dyan. If you want for some Facebook events, in your Facebook pages, you can use Canva. So, ang dami po niyang pwedeng paggamitan. And it's super easy to use this tool to connect via social media. But keep that in mind that in using Canva, make sure that the outline expectations before you dive with your students, dapat ready po tayo. No? So, malaking tulong po si Canva for today. And of course, let's proceed with another app tool. So, ito po yung tinatawag nating Gym Kit. Ayan. Gym Kit is a formative assessment tool. Gym Kit is a live learning game show. Ayan. So again, live learning game show po siya mga ka -CPD. That works for groups as well as for independent study. Gym Kit is an app-based digital quiz gaming platform. Later, pakita ko po yung website niya, no? That can be used by the teachers and students to learn. This applies to both in-class and at-home learning situations. Pwede pong i-access yan ng ating mga learners anytime. Basta po meron lang tayong um, deadline or time of deadline for answering it. The idea of Gym Kit came about through a student working on a high school project. Since they can found game-based learning particularly engaging, they designed an app that they most like to use in the classroom. So, Gym Kit is a digital quiz game that uses questions and answers to help the learners or the students. The platform po, mga ka -CPD, can be used across a host of devices and usually can be used by the students via smartphones, tablets, or laptops. Minimal po siya and easy to use system lang po. And very accessible for K to 12 age group. Then another, um, you can also give some questions in multiple choice answer, MCA. Then, of course, some boxes, pwede rin po yan. Then, of course, Gym Kit offers class-wide games or individual games. So, paano gamitin ang Gym Kit? Mamaya, papakita ko po siya sa inyong lahat. Uh, by the way, nakalimutan ko. You can also embed GeneKit to your LMS. Ayan, learning management system po natin. Okay? Next. The actively learn. Ayan. So, ang actively learn po is... Actively learn is a simple website. And help you to manage and monitor how students engage with what they read. If you're an English teacher po, no, ito po yung magbibigay ko po sa inyong um, isang website tool or ICT integration material na pwede natin i-maximize, no? makakatulong din to sa ating mga learners. With this tool, discussions about a text can develop fostering more authentic participation. Reluctant hand raisers might enjoy the option of responding in the margins and thinking through their remarks. For example, students can rotate the responsibility for adding key questions to a text. And class can have a self-directed or teacher-led discussion on the students' proposed topics. In this process, mga ka -CPD, 
it came naturally for our learners. So be ready to teach and model effective annotation skills and productive discussion practices. And of course, ang maganda po rito, we can also embed some polls that shows students how opinions break down in a classroom. It also offers great hooks to kick off some classroom discussions. Teachers can project the text and the poll. And of course, the students can elaborate on their, <clears throat> on their responses. And of course, they can work through the rest of the text in a classroom using comments. And of course, it's a simple way of spreading the discussion na rin po. So nagkakaroon dito ang student-student interaction. So later, I'll be showing to you the Actively Learn website. Next is yung IURAD. Ayan. <clears throat> IURAD is a tutorial builder wherein it provides a simple solution for creating guided step-by-step -step tutorial. Also, some instructions and knowledge-based articles for any desktop or web application. It, some companies are using this to train their employees on how to use the apps that power the organization or provide the customers. So, pwede, pwede po itong ituro sa ating mga senior high school students, especially for the ABM. IRAD captures everything that the user does inside the capture frame and automatically breaks it down into step-by-step -step instruction. So, madali na lang din para sa mga learners i-follow yung ating step-by-step -step instructions. All text can be translated instantly with Google Translate by selecting a language from their list within the platform. Ang IURAD po mga ka -CPD, it accommodates different learning, different styles by including methods. So, example, kung ang method natin ay interactive, the students can view it, watch it, um, mag-add ng video, print it, then pwede nilang isave as PDF and do it live. So, ang daming pwedeng gamitin sa IURAD. So, also, meron din po itong version sa ating mobile, no? Pwede, pwede po nila itong ma-download. Another, you can, you can export a YouTube video, Word document, pwede rin po, or link the tutorial by integrating a third-party platform such as Lessonly, Workroom, Sendes, Guru, Freshdeck, ayan po, and several others. So, yan po yung kadalasang pwede natin gamitin kay, kay Ayurad. Another, eto, um, possible po, nagagamit nyo na rin ito mga ka-CPD. Wakelet, ayan. So, Wakelet po, ayan. So, ang Wakelet po is usually a tool na kung saan ginagamit na rin siya today. And nagkaroon to ng training last time, no? Wakelet Pilipinas. Ako po, personally, I'm also a community leader of Wakelet. Ang dami pong pwede pong makilala sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo using the Wakelet. And we can also introduce this to our learners. Teachers around the world are using Wakelet to transform classrooms to meet the needs of 21st century students. Wakelet facilitates and supports educational communities by allowing the presentation of engaging educational content in a format that is easy for both teachers and the students to access it and to follow. Teachers curate information for their learners to become, uh, to consume and master in an online environment, while students can do the same thing as they organize their research projects for a wide variety of digital resources. Wakelet is a tool that allows the users to take control of the content the, that interests and inspires them. Wakelet users can save content and organize it in folders or wakes. So yung mga folder po natin na kinatawag nating wakes or student portfolio. Yan, so di ba yung ating assessment or output sa mga learners natin is via portfolio or e-portfolio, e electronic portfolio or digital portfolio, we can use Wakelet. You just need an account. So paano po gumawa ng account? 
you can log in using your Google accounts. Pwede po ang ating DepEd accounts. Or pwede rin po sa mismong website ni Wakelet. Okay? So, ang dami pong pwedeng paggamitan. Later, papakita ko po sa inyo yung kung paano gamitin ang Wakelet para sa ating mga learners. Okay, so ito na po. Ayan. So ito po ay isa na namang bahagi ng ating presentation tonight, no? Yung Google Slides Tips and Tricks for Teachers. So, alam ko naman po na karamihan sa atin ay gumagamit na ng Google Slides aside from PowerPoint. Ba? Ano ba ang hinihingi talagang tricks and tips for us para mapadali tayo sa paggamit ng Google Slides? Okay, so, di pa yun muna natin kung ano ba ang Google Slides. So, if you want to create and present professional pitch decks, project presentations, trainings, modules, Google Slides. Google Slides can build presentations right in your web browser. Kailangan lang po may internet connectivity tayo, no? No special software is required. Wala na po. Even better, multiple people can work on slides at the same time. Let's say, let's say for example, meron akong part na pinapagawa tapos we are working as a team. Remotely, pwede na natin gawin yan. Halimbawa, si, si, si Google Slides ko na-access ni ganito kasi binigyan ko siya ng collab collaboration. So later, papakita ko kung paano po yun. No? And what's best for this is hindi ka matatakot na makorap yung file or hindi ma-save kasi Google is automatically saving the Google Slides. Google Slides is a presentation program which is free. Ayan, free, free. Walang bayad po. Web-based, pwede ka rin maglagay dyan ng Google Docs mo. Katumba siya ng Microsoft Word natin. These are all offered by the Google. Like for example, pwede rin po yung Google Sheets, Google Drawings, Google Forms, Google Sites, and Google Keep. Ang dami na kasi natin pwedeng gamitin. And Google is one of the best tools in teaching in teaching with, with integration of ICT. The app is compatible with Microsoft Word, uh, sorry, Microsoft PowerPoint file and different formats. The app allows user to create and edit files po online while collaborating with others with others or with other users in real time. Ito yung sinasabi ko po kanina na pwede, pwede natin itong gawin sabay-sabay. Alimbawa, we're lacking of time, 100 slides, tapos tayo po ay nasa 20 person, so pwede natin i-disseminate ang task, then everyone can, for, can do it. Just organize lang. Ibigyan ng tamang dissemination of information. And of course, you don't you don't need to worry about the update no kasi di ba minsan nag update si Microsoft natin and nagaantay tayo ng configuration in Google hindi siya every time nag-update so ang mag update po diyan ay ang ating Google browser so safe na safe no problem po so Google Slides ay isa sa mga marerecommend ko po as tool for teaching and integrating ICT in our lessons. So how to access the Google Slides? Ito po yung binabanggit ko po kanina, no? Uh, meron po dito sa ating presentation. Ito po, ito po yung menu. Yung menu ng ating Google browser. Just click it, then hanapin lang yung slides. So pag nakita mo na yan, ito po yung kasunod. Ayun, you no? Know? So lalabas po ito as part of our presentation. Ayan. So, para siyang slides din. Ayan. Then another, meron din siyang team builder. Ito yung background natin na ginagamit natin no? sa ating PowerPoint presentation. Then of course, we have the text formatting. So, font size, font style, nariyan na rin po. And what's best for Google, um, Google Slides? You don't need to download the slides na gusto mo. Kasi nandito na po siya sa kay Google. Okay? So nandito na po, hindi mo na kailangan mag-download at mag-install pa. No need na. Na kay Google slides na po. Then another, 
we can also add images here. So, sa PowerPoint, nag insert lang tayo. Click yung insert na tab, tapos click uh, insert picture. Ito po, ganun din. Pero nakalogo na lang po siya. Ayun po, no? parang picture logo. Then, pag kinlik mo yun, yung arrow down niya, there are some options here. Pwede mo siyang i-upload from your device or from your computer or phone. You can also search the web. Hindi ka na mag-new tab, no? Na maghahanap pa. So, pwedeng-pwede na po dito. You can also upload it from your drive, from your photos, or pwede rin by URL. Or, mag-take ka ng picture ng live. Pwedeng-pwede po. Then another, ganun din po sa videos, no? Nakakapag-insert din tayo ng videos here. Just click insert. When you click insert, lalabas po dyan yung images, text box then click the video. O, idagdag ko na rin. Meron ding shapes, tables, charts, diagrams, word art, andyan po. Para lang po siyang PowerPoint presentation, pero dinagdagan ng features. More complete. Okay? Then may animations din siya. The next is, we can also add some audio. You know, mayroon siyang audio. Pwede mo pwede na rin po. Okay? Then, hindi siya gaya dati na kailangan. Um, mayroon kang presentation, tapos yung mga inad kang pictures, videos. Pag nilipat mo ng ibang device, hindi siya nagraran kasi hindi siya nandun sa mismong device. So, dito po, ang kinagandahan po nitong kay Google Slides, hindi mo na kailangan na mag-save pa yung files mo na sa galing sa computer mo. Kasi kahit wala kang dalang device, as long as you know your account, you know your password, may device doon, may internet connectivity, then you can log it. No problem. Then another, eto po. What makes the presentation interactive? The hyperlinks. Okay? So later, pakita ko rin po. No? Madali na naman po siya. Para lang din po talaga siyang PowerPoint presentation. Ang hyperlinks po ay pag-click mo yung certain image or certain word or certain part ng screen mo, then it leads to another uh, another part ng presentation or another slide. Then, we can add some motions here. Ayan, parang animations. No? Meron na rin po tayong transitions na embedded dito. So, wala masyadong problem. Then, of course, you can import some slides. Eto na. Pwede tayong mag-import. Ayan. So, pwede rin po tayong kumuha sa ating mga pre PowerPoint presentation. Okay. So, yun lang po yung tungkol sa ating Google Slides. So, again, ang ganda po ng Google Slides. Now, I'm going to present another tool aside from, do uh, aside from those ICT materials natin or ICT tools. Ito, familiar kay dito. Google Jamboard. Kung kayo po gumagamit ng Google Jamboard, you can comment that in our Facebook Live. Ako po, I love using Google Jamboard. Kasi is, siya ang naging kapalit natin during the synchronous classes. Siya yung naging kapalit ng ating whiteboard. And what's best for Google Jamboard? Basta may Google account ka, you can have your Google Jamboard. So, it's a free edition of of the or free edition kasama ng iba pang mga Google apps sa Google Work workspace then Jamboard is a digital whiteboard that lets you collaborate in real time using either the Jamboard device or pwede rin po yung digital whiteboard natin pero for me kung wala tayong pambili ng digital whiteboard let's go with Google Jamboard, okay? And what's best for this is you can access it using your web browser or mobile app. Work together in real time. Yun yung maganda po dito. Then you can share a jam session with collaborators whether they are on Jamboard device or mobile app or web browser. People in up to 50 users can work on a jump at once. So, yun yung maganda. 50 katao po, mga ka-CPD. Agad-agad, pwede pong gumamit ng Jamboard. When using a web browser, each Jamboard browser, browser tab counts as a session. So, mamaya papakita ko po kung paano po gamitin ng ating Jamboard. No? Then, paano rin siyang ishishare sa ating mga learners or other teachers po natin. Using a Jamboard 
using a Google Jamboard device, you can, um, ito po, no, write and draw using the stylus or the mouse mo. Then search Google and insert images or web pages. Drag and resize text and images with your fingers. Kung yan ay touchpad po yung inyong screen. Then, of course, you can sketch a box, a star, etc. po. Then, using Jamboard on a computer, on a web browser, pwede-pwede tayong gumawa ng iba't ibang text using our mouse or trackpad nga po. Then, another, um, using a Jamboard device, mobile app or web browser can also add Google Docs, Google Sheets, and slides to a jam. So, ang dami pong pwedeng integrate kay Jamboard. So, ilan na yung na-integrate mo? Apat agad. Using a Jamboard device, you can display upcoming the Google Calendar also. So, ang dami po. Then, another is, you can collaborate it with any devices. Okay? So, pwede po ang Android or iOS mobile phones po dyan. So, later, I'll be showing to you paano po gamitin ang ating Jamboard or paano lang siya share sa ating screen. Okay, so ito lang po, no? um, simple steps lang, open the Jamboard. So may menu nga po kanina, hanapin mo lang yung Jamboard. Then, create your jam, yung plus sign po, yung ating indicator. Ibig sabihin po niya na ay magkikreate po tayo. Then, of course, you can use different stylus based on the screen po natin. May iba't iba na rin siyang kulay para mas, mas catchy siya sa ating mga learners, especially to the elementary, no? Malaking tulong po yan sa pagtuturo sa mga bata. Then, of course, you can draw your job. So, depende po yan kung paano mo po yan gagamitin o ipapakit sa kanila. Then, of course, pwede ka rin mag-choose ng background mo. So, paano man ang inihingi mo? So, batay sa content natin. And, of course, share. Ayan. Ito yung best feature talaga niya yan. May share mo siya to all or selected persons. And pag nag-share, copy lang yung link. Then pwede, kung hindi man ikakopy yung link, you can add directly the email addresses ng mga learners natin or your co colleague or yung mga teachers natin. Then pag hindi pa rin, um, gawin mo na lang siya na anyone with the link can access it. So, no problem yun. Pero, ay, hindi ko yung pinapayo, no? Doon lang po tayo sa talagang may code sila. Okay? Then, you can send the invites also. Then, you can also automatically save your job. Yan, sa ating job board, no? Hindi po siya masyadong mahirap. Pwede mo siyang i-download as PDF. Then, kapag nag-out ka sa browser mo, nandun pa rin naman siya. Okay? You can save frame as image. Then, you can remove also or make a copy. So, let's proceed with another app. Flipgrid. Ayan. So, ako po ay isang certified Flipgrid educator level 1. Ayan po, no? Um, ang ganda po ng Flipgrid kasi nakikita mo yung learners mo. So, paano ba itong Flipgrid na binabanggit ko po, no? So, ang Flipgrid po ay isa sa mga best tool na masasabi nating best po siya for video discussion platform. Say, ayan wherein that it helps the educators see and hear from every student in a class and foster a fun and supportive social learning environment po. Ang maganda po kay Flipgrid, ito yung website niya. mag -e educator login lang tayo. Later, ipapakita ko yan step by step sa inyo. Then, pwede tayo mag-send ng code sa ating mga learners. Once we have the code, they have the access of the code. Mabilis na lang po siya. And anyone can do it. Papaliwanag lang natin yung, yung, yung gagawin sa mga learners. And of course, ito yung simple steps natin. Click educator login, of course. Then, may mga discussion, may mga groups. Depende po yan sa section na dinevelop po natin. No? Then, of course, meron, uh, once they have the discussions, just Enter your class name for the group name. Optionally, you can rename the join code URL that you will share with your students. Pwede mong palit-palitan po yan. Student email should be selected under add students. Mamaya papakita ko po yan kasi 
kailangan malaman po natin mga kasipidi kung paano po tayo mag a ng learners natin, no? Then, also, by adding topics, no? Mamaya papakita ko rin po yan kung paano mag a ng topics. Ang maganda po dito is para po tayong nagkakaroon ng, ng inter interaction sa ating mga learners. Then, um, by entering the topic title, magpo-prompt po yan, then recording time, uh, pwede po dyan ang learners natin ay mag-off cam or mag-on cam. Pero ako po, as a teacher, nire-require ko sila as on cam, no? Hanggat maari. Plus points na lang din para makita natin sila. Okay? Then, another is, ayun po, no? Click record a response. If you are viewing a group with multiple topics, make sure that you are replying to you the appropriate topic po natin. Then of course, ang maganda po dyan, we can view it and add our comments based from the performance nila. So pwedeng-pwede po ito sa ating performance task. Depende sa topic po natin. Okay, so yun yung po yung flip grid. So ang isusunod ko po ang papakita tonight is the must-have Google extensions for teachers. So, ang dami kasing na-mention na. Ang dami ko na pong nasabi, ang dami na po natin ginagamit. Pero, there are some important Google extensions for teachers. So, Google extensions po, hindi po siya yung mismong app na gagamitin natin. No? Google extensions can be acquired from a Chrome, from a web Chrome app store natin or sa store natin or pwede na natin siyang i-search lang later, then we can use the different Google extensions. It serves as support in performing a certain action para sa ating mga pagtuturo or para sa ating mga learners. So let me show to you every Google extension na mahalaga na pwede natin ma-acquire or gamitin. Okay, first is, abaano muna po ba mag-download ng ng mga extensions, no? So, punta lang tayo sa Chrome Web Store natin. Pag meron po tayong, uh, lahat naman po may Chrome Web Store, no? Automatic po yan. Just search Chrome Web Store. Then, just search the store. Pero, ano bang isi-search natin, mga ka-CPD? Kasi, kailangan po, alam natin isi-search natin. Anong purpose natin? Okay? Autocrat, magpapa-automatic ng certificate? Pwede rin po dito, no? Ang dami po yan. So, soon baka magkaroon tayo ng live session sa mga ganon. Okay, let's proceed. Step 2, select the extension to open. Let's say, for example, gusto mo ng Google Translate, then click Add to Chrome. Pero, ingat lang po kasi ang dami pong lalabas dyan na iba't ibang extensions na related sa sinesearch natin, mga ka-CPD. Basahin mo muna yung details, no? For more information. Then, another, step 3 po is, Select Add to Chrome. Of course, di ba? Kailangan natin i-add to Chrome. Then, mag, ano po yan? Mag-install sa ating Chrome. Then, wait lang po kayo ng seconds. Depende po yan sa ginagamit natin. Okay. Then, another step for natin is in the confirmation box, select Add Extension. So, lalabag po prompt po yan sa ating screen. Then, click lang po natin yung Add Extension. Okay po? Next is, okay, so ito po, isa-isahin na natin. Ano-ano ba yung mga best na Google Chrome extensions? First is yung Loom. Ayan. Loom is a video messaging tool that helps you to get your message across through instantly shareable videos. Record your screen and camera with one click. Share that, share that content in an instant with a link. Loom is a leading screen recording tool. 14 million po according to Google ang gumagamit niyan. At ang mga companies po, yung mga business companies, there are 200,000 business companies who use to Loom to record their screens, share their thoughts virtually, and provide asynchronous feedbacks. With Loom, you can record your screen and instantly get a link to share with anyone. It's the fastest and easiest way to screen capture and stay connected with your team. Dito po kasi mga ka-CPD, record screen, camera, microphone, and internal audio, nandiyan na po lahat. Automatically saving the video. 
hindi mo kailangan na mangamba na ikaw ay um, hindi masave to. As long as meron kang strong internet connectivity. Sir, uh, medyo mahina internet to. Possible pa naman po. As long as uh, nandun, kung signal based po ang ating internet connectivity, pwede kayang-kaya po. No problem po yan. Okay po? Then, um, there are some important features na dapat nating matandaan po. In recording, meron tayong 720, 1080, 1440 pixels, or even 4K HD. Yung 4K HD po yun. Pag nag po tayo doon, of course, possible gigabyte na siya or malaking MB. So, kung, if you choose 4K at kaya ng internet connectivity mo, no problem. But I suggest 720 or 1080, kaya naman po, clear na clear naman po. And, halimbawa, ang background mo hindi maganda, magulo. Um, may blur effect po siya. So, hindi siya problem. And, Marami po siyang background, okay? So, no problem po sa atin. And, yung camera mo, pwede mo lagyan ng frame. Then, pag video hosting, you can store your videos, upload, pwede mo siyang i-upload sa Zoom, or even in Google Meets. Okay po? Yun ang kinagandahan ni Loom. And, pwede ka rin mag-create ng hashtags mo, no? Kung gusto mo siyang i-post sa Twitter, or i-publish siya sa LinkedIn, ayan, sa so mga may, may, meron tayong LinkedIn dyan accounts. You can record a presentation with Loom and send it to your audience ahead of time. Screen record your next weekly update. It's very best po per personal touch. Over 40 million po, up to 200,000 companies nga po ang gumagamit nito. So yun po. Ang maganda po dito, best po siya for, our, for us teachers. Next. Tab resize. Ayan. So actually dati ang hirap mag-resize, no? Ang hirap mag-resize ng mga tabs kasi iniisip natin, kailangan manually natin siyang i-adjust-adjust sa, sa corners ng windows. E paano kung gumagamit ka lang ng isang screen, mag-split split screen ka pa. Okay? Pero, gamit ang tab resize as our Google extension, split screen made easy. Resize the current tab and tabs to the right into layouts and separate window with multi-monitor support. Yung ilan po sa ating gumagamit ng, multi, ng dual dual monitor, triple monitor. Ako po ngayon, naka-dual monitor po. Ako, no? um, pero kasi, kung meron kang split screen, mas marami kang pwedeng i-open na windows. Lalo na kung isa kang multi-tasker. Okay? So, using tab resize to split your screen, Pwede, pwede po siya. Download mo lang yung tab resize. Ayan po yung kanyang itsura sa ating screen. Split screen layouts. Add to Chrome mo lang, of course. Then, ipin mo siya sa Chrome extensions bars. Mamaya, pakita ko paano mag-pin. Then, another is, ang maganda po dyan is may options ka. Meron kang 2x2 arrangement. Kung gusto mo po na size ng bawat windows mo or pwede 1x2 most of the time. Then, of course, Options take your, meron kang developer's website na option. But you also see the following list of default keyboard shortcuts then na pwede mong gamitin doon. Okay. For educators, ang kinagandahan po nito is for virtual professional development, trainings, and remote learning. Nasa back tayo or nasanay na tayo mga ka-CPD sa iba't ibang webinars. So, nakakasabay-sabay. Kaya ang ginagawa natin, Sabay-sabay na naka-open yung devices natin. May laptop ka na, may desktop ka pa, may tablet pa, may mobile phone pa. So, relate much po ba mga ka-CPD? I know, very relate. Ako naranasan ko tatlong webinars ng inatendam ko. At the same time, same time ng start, same time ng oras. Hindi ko siya naintindihan, pero dahil po may tab resize ako at naka-screen recording ako, pwede kong balikan anytime yung bawat webinar. Yung po yung kinagandahan nun. So, best po siya for a teacher who is a multi multitasker. Okay? You explore the technology, tools, and strategies that can spark. Ito pwede din natin ituro sa ating mga learners. No, no matter where teaching or learning are happening. Okay. Ito po, isa pa po. Isa pa siyang Google extension. Yung ating insert learning. Ang insert learning po is a instructional content 
on any web page. Makita po natin sa ating screen. Ito po yung kanyang logo. Ayun yung kanyang itsura po, no? So, simply add to Chrome mo lang. So, ano ba ang insert learning? Saves teachers and students time while keeping students engaged. Teachers can insert questions, discussions, and insight directly into any website. In any websites po, no? When students go to that website, they can respond to those questions and discussions. Then, makikita natin insights nila and take their own notes. Using insert learning to turn any website into an interactive learning experience. So, alabawa, meron kang sin uh, sinend kang link for a website. Sabi mo sa mga learners mo, sa students mo, click the link and read the read the the text on the website. Using the insert learning, magpapap up po yan sa gilid. Tapos sasagutan po nila yung tanong. So see, makikita natin ngayon kung talagang binasa ba ng ating mga learners. So insert learning po ay isa sa mga best tool na masasabi natin makakatulong talaga. Ayan, sa mga hindi pa nakakapag demo ng kanilang mga gagamitin classroom observation, my tip is use insert learning. Malaking tulong po sa atin. Lalo na kung gusto natin ng interactive learning sa ating mga learners. Okay, next. We have Mote. Ayan. With Mote or Mote, easily add voice comments. Ayan, dati po, ano yan eh, um, ginagamit ko po yan. Pero ngayon ginagamit ko pa naman din. Ang voice comments po natin and audio content to documents, assignments, emails, and forms. Fast, friendly voice messaging bang hanap mo? Mote, easily voice comments and audio com content to documents, assignments, emails, and forms. Integrated po siya for Google Docs, Drive Slides, Sheets, Forms, Classrooms, and Gmail. For easy recording and playback po ito. You can also create voice notes for any website or application directly from our Chrome extension menu. Simply click on the browser, then access our Motipad recorder. You can also embed your um, your Mote like Notion and Google Sites po. And of course, pwede mo rin siyang ma-share via QR code, no? Uh, what's best for Mote? Meron siyang, naka, meron siyang database ng 20 word languages, including English, Spanish, French, Portuguese, and Arabic. So for teachers, you can use this as for the learners, no? ask students questions and provide feedback quickly and with the feeling of human connection. Whether you are at home or in the classroom, MOTE helps educators and students to stay connected. Pwede ka na ng voice comments if you want. Then, insert ng audio clips with your Google Slides and Google Forms. Sa mga students naman natin, students can leave voice notes. Ayan, pwede mong i-require sa kanila yan. And react to teachers' feedback and comments. Yun na lang po kailangan talaga siya ng internet connection po, no? Alam naman po natin when we use ICT tools, kailangan na talaga ngayon ng internet connectivity. So, yun po yung isa sa mga requirements na talagang need natin, no? Then, let's proceed with another tool. Yung custom cursor, ayan. Favorite ko itong gamitin, no? Ang custom cursor po kasi, um, kinocustomize mo lang yung cursor mo para engaging naman. Diba? It's sort of creating a fun to your learners, especially for pupils. No? Using this as a large collection of free cursors or upload your own. Pwede nga mukha mo ang gamitin mo as, as a cursor po sa ating mouse. No? Just add custom cursor for Chrome. Add to Chrome ka lang po. For your uploading, we rec I recommend using small images lang. Like for, uh, dapat ang size po niya na 16 by 16 or 32 by 32 pixels. Not more than 128 by 128. And kailangan po PNG format po siya. So JPEG, pero better po ang PNG para high definition po yung ating kopya. Then after installing the extension, just refresh the browser and open ka ng tab. Later, papakita ko po sana sa inyo yan para kung kakayanin po ng time natin. No? Then, um... May anime version din po yan. Kung gusto po natin, meron din pang colors, 
holidays, animals, lifestyle, sport, food, job. Yan po, ang dami po niyang pwedeng paggamitan. Next po natin ay ang web paint. Ayan. If you if you are a map teacher, arts teacher, web paint can draw shapes and add text to any websites. Take screenshot using web paint, pwede rin po. Ang web paint po ay a sort of gamified learning din sa ating mga learners. Web paint app includes drawing tools and add text to any websites. Paint tools, line tools, can draw a line. Insert text, pwede rin po, with selected color if you want. And transparency. You can, you, as a teacher, pwede ka rin mag-create dyan na, or magkuha ng screenshots of the current website na pinaglagyan po natin ng web page. So later, pakita ko siya. Okay, next po natin is Bitmoji. Ayan, so ang Bitmoji, emoticons lang din po. Ito po yung mga ano lang, add-ins lang sa ating presentation para po maganda talaga, makita talaga yung ating pagiging isang techie teacher. Using Bitmoji anywhere on web, directly insert Bitmojis in your Gmail. Add mo po sa extension mo, sa Chrome mo, ang Bitmoji. The Bitmoji Chrome extension allows you to send Bitmoji stickers in Gmail and access them easily from your Chrome browser po. Next, we have, ah, by the way, pwede mo siyang i-copy and paste. Reverso. So, ang Reverso po ay ganun din po, no? isa pang Google extension natin, wherein translate and learn languages while browsing and watching movies. Pwede po yan. Then, let the magic happen and get accurate translations. Pwede po yan dyan. And what's best for Reverso is it's free. Okay po? So, ang ganda po. Um, nagkakaroon ka ng ultimate AI-powered translation. Powerful big data algorithms and machine learning po nangyayari. And the most accurate and relevant results mabibigay po ni Reverso. So, learn while watching your videos kung ano man po ang pinapanood natin. Then, for synchronous classes, best po siya for different devices. You just need to create Reverso account. Free po siya mga ka-CPD. We have Kami. Ayan. Yung Kami po for Google Chrome. Kami provides tools to support any learning style, drive engagement, and improve learning outcomes for all. Kami is the world's number one digital classroom tool with complete assignment workflow. Pwede sila din mag-annotate, mag-transform ng any document. Ayan po, no? Kami provides tools to support any learning style, drive engagement, and improve learning outcomes for all. Ang mga teachers po natin, as of now, may mga kakilala po tayo na nag spend talaga ng less time on tiresome admin and more time with their students. So, you instantly level up with your documents, PDFs or images to an interactive learning space. From there, you and your students can collaborate in real time through live annotations, video, and audio recordings. So, why kami? Para... Bakit piliin na, bakit pipiliin po natin ng ano uh, ang kami mga CPD no? Every student succeeds. There are many resources and teachers can save time. The schools can save money. Then there are top tools and features na pwedeng nating ma-integrate po that. Okay? And different files supported with PDF, MS Word, Google Docs, RTF, PowerPoint, Google Slides, Excel, Google Sheets, and different images files. Next po natin ay ang small PDF. Ito, madali na lang ito eh. Um, ginagamit na natin ito ngayon eh, di ba po? Usually kasi ang hirap mag-convert ng Word to PDF. Pero with small eh, small PDF, naka-add lang sa extension mo, yun po ang nagiging role ni small PDF. And hindi lang po siya Word to PDF or vice versa, no? Marami na pong pwede. Pwede ka na rin mag-add ng password mo. Pwede mong i-break yung password if you want. So, andito na rin po kay small PDF. Pakita ko po siya later para po mas magets po natin kung ano ba talaga ang gamit ni small PDF. Pero po, if you want an easy to use PDF tools to edit, convert, merge, split, and compress PDF files, si ano po yan, small PDF po, no? Okay, so... 
just open the PDF in your browser, select a tool from the list, and wait for a file to be processed. Then download the new file if you want. So later, pakita ko po. Then uh, we have the awesome screenshot. Ayan. So sa so, awesome screenshot po and screen recorder, um, built in na po siya as one. So one click ka lang. Ang maganda po dito is best screen recorder yan and screen capture and screenshot tool to record your screen. Provides stable services para sa lahat and easy to use po siya. More importantly, um, best po siya for screen recording and screenshots nga po. Pwede ka mag-record, mag-save, mag-share ng recording if you want, and annotate and edit of course. Then another is yung ating GP for Chrome. Ayan. So ang GP po ay the coolest GIFs and stickers. Pwede, pwede po natin niyang gamitin. Just search it, then drag and drop. Yun po ang role niya. Napakadali po. For our learners, kapag tayo po ay nagbigay ng question at nasagot nila, at mabigyan natin sila ng mga ganito, GIFs and stickers, especially for the pupils, tuwan-tuwa po sila. Kasi po, it's a sort of giving them the reward sa ating mga learners. Then next po natin ay ang Padlet Mini. Ayan. Kung gumagamit po kayo ng Padlet, alam nyo po ito. Pero po, you don't need to go to your Padlet account. Using the Padlet Mini, you want to collect and bookmark for the best of the web of yourself or with your friends. Padlet Mini allows you to bookmark the best of the web web by adding items to a collaborative digital canvas. So, alam naman po natin na ang Padlet po ay isang blank canvas po, no? Isa siyang empty page where you can put whether you like on it. Drag a video, pwede rin po mag-record ng, alimbawa, interview po. Snap a selfie, mga ka-CPD, pwede rin po. Then write text or upload some documents. So, marami pong gamit ang Padlet ngayon. And, Ang Padlet po ay shareable. Yun yung maganda po, no? You can keep everything in one place. Ayan. So, especially sa mga assignments sa mga learners natin, performance tasks, written works, pwedeng-pwede po dito. Para lang din po siyang wakelet. Pero kasi, sa wakelet kasi, may collaborations from other people pa. Ganun din naman sa Padlet. But, ang wakelet po kasi, mas marami po siyang features. And meron po tayong wakelet education. So, yun yung advantage ng Wakelet kumpara kay Padlet. Okay? Then, Padlets are beautiful. Excited ako na makagawa rin kayo ng inyong mga Padlets, no? By choosing your own backgrounds, themes, and building your own profile. So, let's proceed with another. Ito po, pamilyar na pamilyar tayo. Google Calendar. So, sa Google Calendar, um, akala kasi natin calendar lang siya, no? Pero maraming po talaga siyang gamit. So, ang Google Calendar po ay pwede siyang ilagay as extension, add to Chrome mo lang. So, later papakita ko po kung paano siya gamitin, paano ako mag-create ng event, mag-add ng event, then mag-generate ng link, no? So, maraming tulong po yan sa atin. Okay? Then, um, of course, drop down lang naman yan. Okay po? Then, another is yung ating Extensify. Ah, sorry, Extensity. Ito po ay isang tool for lightning fast enabling and disabling your extensions for Google Chrome. Kung ayaw mong ma-activate lahat ng iyong mga um, mga extensions, choose Extensity. Pwede mong i-turn on or pwede mong i-turn off. It keeps your browser lean and fast. Kasi pag marami ka ng extensions na naka-install sa Chrome mo, bumabagal po yan mga ka-CPD. Kaya po, tinuturo ko ngayon sa atin or pinapresent ko po sa ating lahat What's the best Google extensions that as, as a teacher na meron dapat tayo sa ating browsers? And with the help of Extensity, pwede natin tanggalin yung hindi na masyadong ginagamit or outdated na. Okay po? So, yun po ang purpose ni Extensity. Now, let's proceed with another. Ito, ginagamit ko talaga to ever since when, uh, 2015 pa. I, I think 2015. Yes. Edmodo. So, if you heard Edmodo, para rin din po siyang Google Chrome, ay sorry, Google Classroom, but what's best for Edmodo is 
Edmodo, meron siyang features na wala kay Google Classroom. At meron din si Edmodo mga features ni Google Classroom na pareha sa pareha sila. So may advantage po at mas maraming features si Edmodo. Kasi kay Edmodo may meron siyang feature na pwedeng mag-lock screen, mag-lock ng assignment. 'Di ba sa Google sa Google Classroom, once na naka-deadline na, still the learners can submit the outputs and lalabas lang po doon ay late ang submission. Pero kung kay Edmodo, you can lock the assignments. Then, hindi na sila makakapagpasa. Lalo na, if we want to train the students for for time management and proper time of submitting their outputs. So, let's define first what is Edmodo, no? So, ang Edmodo po is educational network that aims at providing teachers with tools to help them connect and communicate with their students and parents. Via the Edmodo app or website, teachers can share context, text, videos, homeworks, and assignments with their students online. So, lagi pong tatanda, no? Kailangan po talaga may internet connectivity. So, why Edmodo? Edmodo is immediate feedbacking. May parent monitoring. Pwede natin ma-invite yung parents dyan. May planner. Then you can add your co-teachers. And many more. Paano kumuha ng Edmodo? Pwede po yan sa ating Play Store. Pwede rin po yan sa ating iPhones. At pwede pwede sa ating browser, of course. Ito po yung kanyang logo, no? Yung Edmodo. Yan po. Click install. Automatically, magkakaroon na po tayo dyan. Then create an account, of course. Of course, when you create your account, sign up as a teacher. Kasi tayo educators, no? Pero kapag, kapag sa learners, sign as a student po. Then, pwede rin tayo dyan mag-sign up with Google accounts, Microsoft accounts, or Apple accounts po natin. Then, another, sign up as a student sa mga learners natin, class code lang ang hihingi nila sa atin. Sa ating magagaling mga CPD, pag tayo ang teacher, sa ating magagaling ang class code. Okay? Then, ipas natin sa kanila ang paglalagay ng tamang pangalan. No? Kasi may mga learners tayong yung nilalagay. Korean names, di ba? Pati profile pictures. So, i-practice natin yung netiquette, of course. Then, of course, we have the parents. We can have the parents. So, pag meron ka nito, Edmodo, may dadagdag mo na rin siya sa RPMS mo kasi I think meron din doon as requirement po, no? Then, another feature is nagkaroon ng ICT integration. Next is creating class. So, simply create, click create a class. Later, papakita kung paano po yan. Then, class code, just copy the class code, then send it to your learners. Okay po. Then, you can also invite or add members. If, yung, kung meron kang kopya ng kanilang mga email, pwede mo sila ma-invite. Even your co-teachers or colleagues. And of course, the parents. So, ako po, hinihingi ko lahat ng email ng parents. No? Kung wala po, of course, that's an option. Pero best po, meron din tayong kopya na mag email and contact some parents natin. If we can add some assignments, then the title of the assignment, then, um, ito yung sinasabi ko po, tinuturo ko ngayon, lock, no? Lock this assignment after its due date. Yun yung wala po kay Google Classroom. Which is, meron po si, si Edmodo. Ang ganda po niya. Then, you can also add some attachments. And of course, um, you can send that to your classes. Kung yan po ay parehas na subject tapos iba't ibang klase, send to many mo lang. Then, pare-pares po yan ng schedule date and yung deadline. Then, of course, posting materials. Ayan po, no? Any material po, pwede po dyan ma-upload. Then, assignment grading overview. Ito po, um, kiklik mo lang yan. Then, kung ano man yung kanyang output, Based on your rubric, pwede, pwede mo po yan mabigyan ng score. Then, in creating and grade quiz, meron din po dyan, ito po yung create po, then 
nilalagay mo lang yung yung activity then send it to your designated classes. And then of course Ito po, no? Med pwede po dyan mag-direct messages to all and pwede rin po sa ating mga learners na personal message po. Parang nag-PM lang sila or nag-PM ka sa kanila. Usually, ginagawa ko ang personal message kapag wala pang output si mga bata. So, it's a way how to convince the learners to submit their outputs on time, etc. Then, uh -huh. Okay, I think this is the last part ng presentation ko bago yung demo. No? Ipapakita ko lang yung mga selected na lang po. No? Um, pakita lang itong last part po na remember that technology is a tool. It doesn't replace good teaching po. Tayo pa rin po iyan. So let me share now my um, iba't ibang tools na gagamitin natin for the selected lang po ang ipapakita ko po. So wait lang po. No? Okay. So in our browser, si share ko lang po yung ating browser. Okay, share window. Entire screen na nga lang po. Okay, so what you see on my screen is a blank document. Okay, so unahin po natin yung ano po no, uh, wood club. So just search wood club lang po, wood club. So lalabas, na, lalabas naman po ang wood club kaagad. Ito po, yun sa pinakataas po natin. No? So ito po yung wood club natin. So reload, ayan. So ang wood club po, Ito po yung kanyang mismong website wherein you can sign up for free. Ayan po no. So when no credit card required po siya. So pag nag-sign up po tayo for free, pwedeng-pwede po dyan ang... Uh, sige po, wait lang po natin yung mismong website na Wood Club. Ito po no. So ito po yung mga sign-ups natin. Uh, we have the sign with Facebook, sign with Google, sign in with LinkedIn, and sign in with Microsoft. So, sa ating mga teachers, usually we have the Facebook, we have Google, and Microsoft. But I suggest also na magkaroon tayong LinkedIn kasi ang LinkedIn po ay isang, ano rin po, isang account din wherein mas dadami yung connections natin. And so usually yung mga educators outside the Philippines, they are using LinkedIn. Ang malaking tulong po. So sa akin siguro click ko na lang tong sign in with Google no. So depende ako na lang po tayo. Ayun you no. Know? So mabilis lang po no. Pag pag ka-enter mo ito po lahat kagad yung ano lalabas po. Then create ka lang event, create lang po tayo ng event. Then may may tutorial naman po siya. Then pwede po tayo diyan mag-create ng multiple choice. Ayun no. Dire-diretso na. So just create a multiple choice question. Pwede din naman po ang poll. Ayan, napasasagutan natin. Ito po ay synchronous na ginagawa sa ating mga learners. So, pwede, pwede po natin itong ipakita during Zoom or Google Meet sessions po natin. Another po yung Jitsu, if you're familiar with Jitsu, ito po ay bagong-bago lang din na conference app for learning. Then, of course, Word Cloud, Open a question, ayan. So, ito po ay, alimbawa, what's your feeling right now? So, try natin, no? O, pwede, pwede po. Alimbawa, o, mga kasipili, how are you tonight? Ayan. So, pwede tayo dyan mag, magigyan natin question mark, no? Maglagi ng, ano, answer. Alimbawa, happy. Happy lang ang tamang sagot. <laughs> okay, then we can also add some questions, ma. Uh, answer, sorry. Or sad. So, kung ano man po, depende yan. Ito po, maganda po nito. Siyempre, sa ating mga learners, masaya sila na sagutan to, no? Then, we can start now. Yan. Pag in-start now mo siya, ayan. So, hindi po kasi ako naka-show eh, naka sa ating presentation. Pero, you can save it. Ayan. Yun po yung kinagandahan niyan. Okay? 
All right, ayan. So, let's vote kung gusto po, no? So, sisend ko lang po ito. Halimbawa, no, mga ka-CPD. Ayan, baka po may share sa ating, ano, sa ating Facebook Live. Try ko po na i-comment po dito sa ating Google Meet. Ayan, no? Ayan. So, tinan natin kung makakapagsagot yung ilan sa mga ka-CPD natin. Ayan po, no? May share po ni Sir Angelo sa ating screen. Okay. So, kung ano man po, maganda po talagang gamitin ng Woodclub. So, basic lang siya, very friendly user, and hindi po siya ganong kahirap gamitin. So, hindi nyo po ma-access po, pwede nyo rin pong i-click yung ating, or i-type yung ating, ating link, no? Ayan. So, okay. So, <laughs> syempre, hindi makakap... Ito lang po yung paraan, no? Hindi na natin gagawin interactive. So, Pwede rin po ang QR code, ayan. So, pwede pwede pong i-scan yan ng ating mga ka-CTV. Tapos magpo-comment lang po sila. No? Para po makita natin yung kanilang mga um, kasagutan. Okay? So, yan po yung purpose ng ating Wood Club. Very, very interactive po talaga sa ating mga ka-learners, mga ka -CTV. And of course, um, pumili na lang ako ng iba. No? Punta tayo sa quizzes. So, ang quizzes po, I already have quizzes account. But, asa na ba yung aking quizzes? Okay po. Pakita ko po sa inyo ang gamit ni quizzes. Okay. So, si quizzes po ay may choices po tayo. No? Pwede po tayo mag-login using our Google account, Microsoft account, or continue, create ka ng mismong account mo kay quizzes. So, sa part ko, meron na kasi ako dati. So, sa inyo po, kung wala pa po, you can sign up na lang po. No? So, click login lang po. Ayan, so click Google pala tayo. Okay, so dito na lang po siguro sa aking regular account. So, ito po yung mga lalabas. Ayan. So, pwede po tayo dyan mag-create ng mga quiz natin. So, create mo lang yung, yung, yung quiz mo. Halimbawa ay CPD. Ayan. So, pwede, ano bang, ano niya? Pwede bang na subject. Halimbawa ay... Uh, Longer than three characters. So, CPD training, halimbawa po, no? Then, halimbawa, ito ay professional development. Ayun, no? Then, click mo lang yung next. Okay, click mo yung, ah, sorry. Pwedeng lesson, pwedeng quiz. Ayan, so ito yung sinasabi ko po kanina. Sa quizzes, may option po tayo mag-create ng lesson or quiz. So, pwede pong lesson. Kung i-click mo lang yung next mo. Then, pili ka ng iyong team na gagamitin. Halimbawa ito. Next mo lang. So, may mga pre-made na po. No? Ang gagawin mo lang po ay, alam nyo na, click the right one. Ayan, may title na po. So, ayusin mo na lang. Ayan, nandyan na po yung aking account. No? <laughs> okay, so, pwede mo i-move up or move down yung, yung, present, yung slide mo. Okay po. Then, pwede ko po dyan mag-add ng panibago mong Um, panibago mo pong slide or kung ayaw mo, ito po, sa baba, add new slide ka lang. Ayan. So, marami ka ulit na pwedeng gawin. So, alimbawa, um, text slide mo lang, then click mo lang to, i-replace mo lang yung mga nasa text. So, alimbawa, um, CPD. So, ano ba ang CPD? Alimbawa lang po, no? O, CPD. Ayan. So, then after nyan, Pwede pa ulit mag-new slide, tapos pwede ka na po dyan. May option ka, pwede ka maglagay ng poll. Ayan, no? So, interactive na siya. Hindi siya yung kagaya ng present PowerPoint lang na PowerPoint lang ang nakalagay po, no? Then, meron kang fill in the blanks. Kung gusto mo, multiple choice. Ayan po. Open-ended, pwede rin po. Audio response. Okay? Then, pwede rin po dyan yung draw type. Ayan po. Then, video response. Yun nga lang po, if you want to access the, the video and audio responses, kailangan medyo pro yung gamit natin. Okay po? Ayan. So, yun po yung quizzes natin. Then, ang kinagandahan po dyan, kapag alimbawa on the rush ka, alimbawa, ay, nakalimutan ko may klase pala ako ngayon. Ang topic ko ay about addition. Addition. So, search mo lang yung addition. Marami na po dyang lalabas. Ayun po, no? May mga pre-made na po na kung saan ikaw na lang po mag adapt no? Then, alimbawa, lesson ang hanap ko. Click mo yung lessons. Then, bibigay niya po sa iyan. 
start a live lesson ka kung gusto mo po. Kung ayaw mo, ito lang yung share mo. Okay, so yan na po. Ayan, naka-integrate naka na po dyan, no? Kung ano yung mga ipapakita mo sa mga bata. Okay po, yun ang kinagandahan po niyan. Then, um, ang kinagandahan po po dyan, o, alimbawa, ang hanapin po natin ni addition, alimbawa lang po, no? Tapos ang hanap po po ay quizzes. Pag kinlik mo po yan, meron na kaagad set of quizzes. Ayan po, napakita ko. Uh, laki na po nga po. Ano, 100 na pala. Okay po, then, click mo lang yan. Ayan po, no? Then, show answers. Ayan na po. Sa part natin, teachers, mas madali po siya. Okay po? O, oh, type mo lang yung sagot. Ayan. Ito po yung view ng learners, no? Then, um, pwede mo siyang ibigay as assign homework with deadline. Ito po yun. So, bibigyan ka naman yan ng option hanggang kailan mo siya ipapagawa sa learners. May oras din po siya. So, malaking tulong po sa part natin. Then, um, what's best for this is you can assign it kung sa amang sections mo siya ilalagay. Ayan. Pip bibigyan kanya ng option kung kaninong klase mo siya ilalagay. No? Then, um, kung ayaw mo ng asynchronous, ay ito, sorry, may select option ka dito kung sino-sino po yan. Ayan. Just click it. Then, click next. So, sa part nito, hindi ko i-click po, no? Then, um, may participants attempt. Yun po yung maganda. Alimbawa, gusto mo tatlong beses sasagot ang bata, dalawa o isa, hanggang five times po. Then, you can also let them show the answers right after. Then, meron po itong power-up. So, para sila naglalaro ng games, then, meron po silang power-ups or parang mga gems na makukuha. So, once they have the gems, may chance pa silang magdagdaga ng points nila. So, it's not only about answering the questions na binigay natin na quiz, but also sa game form. Natutuwa yung ating mga learners. Then, show leaderboard. Pwede po yan. Makikita nila sa ibang class nila. Ay, ako yung leading. Ay, top, top one ako. Top two, top three ako sa, ano, sa quiz namin tonight. Then, pwede ka mag-add ng memes mo. Ayan po. May mga pre-made na po, pero ako po kasi gumawa ko ng sarili ko po. No? Ayan. Ito po yung ginawa ko ata. Ayan. Okay. So, pwede naman po tayo mag-download. Then, click assign. Okay po. Yan po ang kinagandahan ni quizzes. And, marami po siyang iba't ibang subjects na pwede niyong gamitin. Then, alimbawa po, ikaw po yung may mga nagawa na, just search it on your library. Nandyan na po kasi lahat-lahat ng mga gawa natin, no? So, sa part ko, marami, marami na po kasi akong nagawa. And, ang maganda po dyan, ayan, no? Created by me. 191 na po yung nagawa ako. Ayan, ito po yung kanina, no? Pwede po nating drop yan. Ayan po, no? So, I've been teaching also other subjects. Kaya po, iba ito ba yung ating mga subjects here? Then, Ang maganda po yung may reports. Makikita mo yung mga learners na nagsagot. Halimbawa, um, quiz third quarter. Ayun, makikita mo yung mga learners, yung score nila, um, saan sila nagkamaling tanong. Ayan po, no? Ah, ito, dito siya nagkamali. Eh, no? o, meron siyang mga maling sagot. No? Dito pala siya nagkamali. So, dyan mo makikita kung saan mahina yung ating learners o yung strength nila. Okay po? Then, gaano katagal nila ito sinagutan? Halimbawa, 15 seconds lang pala sinagutan ito ng learner. So, may ano siya, may possible of factor ay time or nagmamadali yung learner. Yan po yung kinagandahan niyan. But, ha, paano mag-invite mag ng klase? So, integrate mo lang siya sa Google Classroom. Import a new class from your classroom. Yan. Pwede rin po yan kung meron kang canvas. Okay po, or kung meron kang Schoology, ayan. So, Schoology is another LMS po. Then, um, okay, so proceed tayo sa isa pang app na pwede nating ma-share sa ating mga ka-CPD, no? We have the, uh, wait lang po, ano ba? Ito, Canva, ayan. So, Canva is very basic, no? So, sa Canva po, just search mo lang canva.com, then, Maraming marami ka na makikita dyan. So, pwede ka mag-login using your, or mag-sign up using your Gmail account or your DepEd account. Sa part ko, DepEd account ang ginagamit ko po, no? Kasi, syempre, maras marami tayong magagamit dito na iba't ibang templates. Yan po. Just 
Ang maganda po kay Canva, yung iba po dyan ay talagang pre-made na. So, hindi na kailangan maghanap pa. Let's, let's say for example, ang hanap po natin ay pang-announcement or pang-birthday. Birthday announcement, no? Kasi mayroong birthday kang, ano ka, faculty president ka. So, search mo lang yung birthday, then enter mo lang yun. So, may mga ibibigay po si Canva na iba't ibang... Ayan, wala. Ayan, minsan po kasi mabagal talaga ang website po ni Canva. Ayan na po. Ayan. Bibigyan po niya tayo ng iba't ibang pre-made na, na templates po. So, kiklik mo lang yan. So, mag-unutab lang siya. Usually. Then, i-edit mo lang po siya. Yun po ang kinagandahan ni Canva. So, very basic naman po siyang gamitin. And habang inaantay natin yung mga ka-CPD, lahat ng mga gawa mo sa Canva ay nasa-save po siya automatically. No? Hindi mo kailangan mag-worry na, ay, hindi ko na siya na-save. So, ito po yung mga nagawa ko na po. No? So, medyo marami-rami na po. Yan po. Yan po yung kinagandahan ni Canva. So, kung gusto mo mabilisan, um, Canva po. And also, dito din po namin ginagawa yung aming mga presentation for webinars. So, yan po. Uh, kadalasan po kasi ako po ang technical side po ng activities po ng aming school. Okay. Yan. Medyo mabagal lang po ang Canva website. Pero po, very basic po siya gamitin po. Also, the certificates po, pwedeng-pwede po natin gawin dyan ang certificates, the announcements, ano pa ba, yung ating uh, newsletter, pwedeng-pwede po dito lahat. Okay po? So, let's proceed with another ano, um, app na pwede natin ma-share sa ating mga ka-CPD, uh, Wakelet. Ayan. So, search lang po ang Wakelet sa taas. So, ang Wakelet po ay yung una po kaagad yun, no? Ayun, no? So, wakelet. Ayan. So, pwede ka po dyan mag-login, enter code, or sign up. Ang enter code po ay para sa mga learners, no? Tayo, sign up or login. So, meron na kasi account, so login lang po. Oh. So, pwede po yan yung Google account natin. So, usually kasi Google account naman ang ginagamit natin. Then, yung DepEd account po natin. So, hintay ka lang po as the website reloads, ikaw naman po ay magla-login naman po sa ating, alam niyo na, sa ating wakelet. Ayan. So, yan po. Alimbawa, meron tayo ditong ginamit na tech talk ng nakaraan. Ayan po. Mag-open po yan. So, makikita po dyan yung iba't ibang pictures. Ayan po, no? Ayan. So, iba't iba po yan. So, yun na, minsan po yan nagiging requirement natin sa mga learners po natin. So, very basic lang siya. Drag and drop lang po. No? Malaking tulong po para po hindi rin masyadong mahirap sa learners po natin. And what's best for this is you can share this. Ayan, no? Share it by the public, private, or unlisted. And also, may option po dito for QR code, embed, Teams, Classroom, Facebook, or Twitter, Remind, or Reddit. Ayan po. So, marami po. Yan. And invite collaborators, of course. Yun po yung best po dito. No? Nagiging ano po siya Uh, madaling i-access na si-share natin for all. Yun po yung best po for wakelet. Okay po? So, let's proceed with another. Ayan. Kasi yung, yung ibang pictures po dito ay naka-embed po sa ating Google Drive. Kaya po hindi nyo na makita, no? Kasi na-delete ko na ata sa Google Drive natin. And ating Google po sa ating Google Slides. So, new tab lang po ko. Then, kahit ko lang po yung depth account para mas marami po. Dito po yung sinasabi kong menu, no? So, sa menu po, andyan po yung ating mga pwedeng gamitin. The forms, ayan. Iba't iba po, no? So, sige po, in Jamboard na lang muna tayo. So, sa Jamboard po, sa Google Jamboard, ayan po, no? Yan na po yung mga nagawa, gamit ko po na Google Jamboard. I-share ko lang yung isa, no? Siguro ito na lang virtual ko, kumustahan. Yan po, no? Ayan, no? So, ito po yung mga, pwede ka dito mag-add ng 
sticky note, ayan, pwede may colors, then pwede ka mag-ask ng question. Then, ang learners po, pwede rin po sila magsagot via um, sticky note po natin. Ayan. So, pwede ka rin dyan mag-add text. Ang imbawa, yan po, pwede ka magsulat dyan. Yan po, no? Pwede mo yan do, syempre. Yan do natin kasi yan po yung matagal na namin ang gamit. Then, um, pwede ka dyan mag-add ng picture kung gusto mo. So, pwede ka mag-upload, URL, or by camera. So, usually, pag ganito po, our Google image search. Ayan. Ang imbawa, God. So, maraming ibibigay sa'yo na no, si, si, si Google po na pwede natin gamitin. So, i-click mo lang insert, then lalabas na po siya. Yan po. So, ganun lang siya kadali. Very basic. Pwede mo rin i-delete yan kung ayaw mong masira yung presentation. Ito po yung sinasabi ko pong jump slides, no? Ayan po, no? Kahit ilan po yan, pwede po yung dagdagan. Unlimited po yan. So, pwede ka rin dyan mag-set ng background kung gusto mo to, or ito, or pwede rin picture kung gusto mo. Pwede ka mag-upload ng gusto mo. Okay po? Halimbawa, ayun po, God, halimbawa lang, no? So, pwede pwede natin gamitin kung ano man yung gusto po natin uh, ilagay na background po. I-upload naman po yan directly ni, uh, ni Google po. So, ang, ang dali pong gamitin ng Google Jamboard. At pag share natin siya, remember, pag share mo siya, share mo siya sa lahat ng learners, no? So, ako kasi kapag nag-share ako sa learners, anyone with the link muna. Kasi ang hirap na isa-isayin pa, no? Then after po nun, i-change ko po siya ng restricted. Para ako na lang talaga mag-verify ng mga nangyari po sa mismong Google Jamboard po natin. Okay po? So, yun po yung tulong po na magagamit po natin. Okay, so, uh, meron pa akong isang tool, no? May konti pa tayong oras na pwedeng ma-share sa ating mga ka-CPD. Uh -huh. Okay. Ah, ito, flip grid tayo. Ayan, flip grid. So, sa flip grid, so, sa flip grid po, aha, uh -huh. Meron po tayo dito mga accounts na nagamit na. Ayan, matagal-tagal lang po talaga mag-load ang ating flip grid. Okay. So, sabi ko nga po sa inyo, lahat po ito ay ginagamit ng internet connectivity aside from PowerPoint gamification. Yung PowerPoint gamification po, pwede po ako mag-share dyan ng mga, mga use ko po na PowerPoint Gamified na presentations, pwede nyo po akong i-message po sa aking FB account po no, para ma-share ko sa inyo. Or sa aking um, email po, ayan po, no, pwede, pwede po. Or pwede rin po dito sa ating mga ka-CPD po sa ating FB page. Ayan, medyo mabagal po yung ating clip grid. So again, sabi ko nga po sa inyo, depende po ito sa internet connectivity na meron po tayo, no? So, yun po yung ating iba't ibang app. So, hopefully, nakatulong po ito sa atin. Kasi, ang ganda po ng features ng bawat isa. Ito po, ihabol ko po yung flip grid. Ayan, no? So, pwede tayo mag-sign up or enter a code. Pero sa akin kasi, login na ako, no? So, meron na po kasi tayo account. Ayan, medyo mabagal lang talaga ang website ngayon ng flip grid. Kaya po, hindi ko maipakita sa inyo. Okay. So again, remember mga ka-CPD, there is no app tool or no ICT material can replace a teacher. Tayo po ang magko-control ng ating pusay at galing. We are the one who execute the teaching and sharing the knowledge to our students or learners. So tayo pa rin po, we are the best teacher ever para sa ating mga learners. Maraming maraming salamat po and thank you po sa ating lahat. So stop sharing lang po.
All right, so maraming maraming salamat po and see you soon sa ating mga next na sessions po. Bye everyone, maraming salamat po. Good night po.